here's what happens when you get to containment level 100, i.e. tier 10, in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies right now. For those of you who don't know, containment levels are a new, exciting feature that's come to Modern Warfare 3 Zombies since Season 2 Reloaded, and it basically adds another layer of grinding, and it brings some cool new perks that if you're playing the game regularly and doing well, you'll have some good bonuses in the game, like starting with more essence, discounts on buying things like perks, weapons and pack punching, and even earning bonus cash from contracts. If you like the sign of that, then make sure to stay tuned to this video, which is going to show you guys what containment levels are, how they work and how to earn them as fast and as easily as possible in the game. If you go on to find this useful be sure to drop a like. Before we carry on with the video, if you're looking to permanently unlock the new Modern Warfare 3 Mastery Camos or play in bot lobbies to max out your guns and unlock camos quickly or get your hands on an instant delivery pre-made account then be sure to check out MitchCactus.com. These guys are the biggest and most reliable sellers with tons of offerings for Modern Warfare 3 with completely safe and legitimate services on all platforms. So far they've almost 10,000 reviews on Trustpilot so if any of that sounds good to you guys then make sure to use code RAGER for 5% off for a limited time only. Check out the link in the description. Without further ado, let's get straight into this guide. So like I say, containment levels are a new concept and basically what you do is you earn containment levels from doing contracts. Now you get different amounts of levels depending on what the contract difficulty is, I'll explain that later on, and the levels go from zero when you start off up to 100 and beyond, although at the moment only up to 100 will give you any perks or benefits right now. So these are kind of similar to Excel streaks from DMZ, basically where the better you do in games consistently without dying, the more perks you'll have, except this time you don't lose them all at once if you die it's a bit fairer and getting to certain containment levels earn you cool perks like I say things like starting with more money, armor plates, discounts on buying things and getting cash from contracts. Now containment levels are unique to each strike team operator so if you think you might die before the start of a game you can always swap to another one. You'll need to go up to 100 basically with each character to get the perks for that character. So let's quickly talk about what each of the containment level tiers are, what you get from them and then we'll talk about how to maintain your levels and how to earn these levels as fast as possible to get these benefits. So starting out with tier 1 and for this you need to only be at containment level 2 if you get to this tier you're going to start with 500 essence in the game so it's a nice bonus to have makes it a little bit easier to buy things at the start of the game with minimal effort so it always makes it easier at the start which is good if you get up to containment level 5 you're going to reach tier 2 and that's going to allow you to start with five armor plates in the game i really like this it's easier to maintain your health you get a nice stash of plates at the start of the game it's just always easier which is good moving up to containment level 8 you're going to get to tier 3 and this allows you to start with now a bonus of a thousand essence at the start of the game and this is an even better bonus to help you towards buying perks weapons that kind of thing if you're able to go forward even more to containment level 12 you're going to get to tier 4 and that's going to allow you to get a 30 percent discount off perk machine costs so perks normally cost about 2000 essence with that discount you're going to bring it all the way down to 1400 points for a perk so a nice discount really simple and it makes buying everything a lot lot cheaper then at tier 5 or containment level 20 you're going to start with 1500 essence and again this is starting to get really good now in terms of the bonus and if you get to containment level 30 you're going to get to tier 6 which is going to give you a 30% contract essence reward so basically a 30% bonus on all the money you earn from contracts so with tier 1 contracts you're normally going to earn 2,000 points and this is going to bump that up to 2,600 for tier 2 contracts you normally earn 3,000 this is going to get you 3,900 and for tier 3 contracts you normally get 5,000 essence but this bumps it up to 6,500 so just think 6,500 from doing one deliver cargo contract in the tier 3 zone is insane so you can easily earn a lot more money which is great and if you just think about it with this bonus you pretty much earn 4,000 points from a tier 2 contract which is not far off what the original amount you earn from tier 3 contracts are it's only about a thousand off so getting a lot better than they were at the start of the game but moving on if you get to containment level 40 or tier 7 you're going to start with 2500 essence and this is even better because you can get like a free kill streak like a sentry turret or perk something like that straight away at the start of the game with no hassle if you keep going and get to containment level 50 you're going to reach tier 8 and this is going to get you 50 percent off the mystery box cost now i don't really use the mystery box that often as i normally just use the weapon i spawn in with i'm sure a lot of people will do the same thing but this is kind of an interesting new concept because with a 50 cent discount it's wild obviously it brings the cost down from 950 essence all the way just to 475 so you can get double the number of weapons with the same amount of money or double the number of tries and this makes getting a random weapon in game more viable it also makes it easier to unlock new dlc weapons easily in modify 3 zombies as you get double the number of chances to find the weapon you want and if you find a new dlc weapon that you've yet to unlock in the mystery box equip it exfil and then you can instantly unlock it without having to do the challenge so it makes it a lot easier for things like that and definitely i think i'll be trying this more often now i've got that perk. Then at containment level 75 you're going to hit tier 9 and this is going to allow you to start with a whopping 5,000 essence so it's a massive cash bonus every time you spawn in. For that amount of money you can get a couple of kill streaks at the start of the game, several perks, a free self revive or even a pack punch level 1 for free without having to do any contracts. And speaking of pack punch the final tier is going to get you an awesome discount off pack punching weapons, we'll talk about that now. So at containment level 100 or reaching tier 10 you're going to get a 20% discount off pack punch cost. Doesn't sound like a lot but it does make a difference. So at level 1 pack punch 
punch it used to cost 5,000 with this bonus it's now only 4,000 at level 2 it would cost 10,000 and now only 8,000 and then at level 3 it would cost 15,000 in the tier 3 zone but now it's only going to cost 12,000 with this discount and this bonus is permanent don't forget so while you have this tier unlocked it means you can get a discount every single time you pack a punch your weapon so suddenly the 30,000 essence that you need to bring your weapon from a base level up to pack a punch level 3 reduces from 30,000 down to 24,000 i.e. a 6,000 reduction so it just makes it a lot lot easier and bear in mind you start with 5,000 anyway you only really need to earn 19,000 in the game to go from a base weapon all the way up to level 3 and often people have got crystals and things to make it cheaper so definitely a nice welcome introduction if you ask me so now we've talked about that there's two other main things I want to talk about first of all how you maintain your containment levels and what you need to do to avoid it dropping down and secondly how to earn them fast so we'll go through that now in terms of maintaining your containment levels each time you earn enough containment levels you go to the next tier and when you complete more contracts you earn more levels obviously when you exfil in a game you kind of save those levels and maintain your streak whereas if you fail to exfil either if you die or if you don't board the chopper it will cause you to lose levels I think like I say when you don't board the dropper that will count as you failing to exfil as well and therefore people that exfil farm are not going to want to do it when they've got a high containment level otherwise that's going to mess that up now if you die in game you will not lose your streak and be reset to zero thankfully unlike previously in DMZ instead you'll drop to the next lowest tier so for example if you were on containment level 80 you would have reached tier 9 and you'd be working towards tier 10 so you're on tier 9 and therefore you'd drop back to tier 8 i.e containment level 50 so you drop down 30 levels if you died it doesn't sound like a lot but it you know it takes a bit of time so it's worth exfiling and it's definitely worth trying to avoid dying if you can for that reason if you kind of like these benefits and bonuses now if you complete a game of zombies and exfil but you don't do any contracts you won't lose anything you'll just maintain your streaks so it'll stay the same no change to your containment level also just to bear in mind there was recently a glitch where using dark either portals would drop you down to the next lowest tier and keep going but this is now fixed i believe keep an eye out there may still be some glitches but mostly it's fixed as far as i know so finally let's talk about how to earn containment levels fast in the game in order to get all these bonuses really quickly and easily because 100 levels sounds like a lot but it's not too difficult if you follow this strategy so earning containment levels is relatively easy basically the number of levels you earn depends on what tier of contracts you do so tier 1 contracts will earn you one containment level tier 2 contracts will earn you two containment levels and tier 3 contracts will earn you three containment levels so in terms of the best contracts to do I'd recommend doing ones like deliver cargo eliminate the bounty spore control and then sometimes you can also do ones like outlast and raid weapon stash I'd avoid doing anything more annoying or more difficult so ones like defend ground station ether extractor and escort they're really annoying they can be more difficult avoid those by all means and in terms of the best tier zones to farm these contracts in it, it kind of really depends on your skill level your loadout and if you're playing solo or as part of a team so technically the best tier is obviously tier three as you earn three levels every time you do a contract rather than one or two however contracts can be slower to complete as they're more difficult and also there's less contracts available in that zone so if there's one you don't like you might be waiting longer to get one you want like a deliver cargo or a spore control at the moment there's going to be more people going for those to get these levels so if you have a good loadout or you're in a team i'd recommend trying tier 3 contracts 100 if you can complete them quickly and effectively that's great just make sure you've got a you know pack punch weapon ether tool self revives an armor plate vest and a backpack that kind of thing but if you don't think you'll survive or you don't think you'll be very efficient and quick at farming these tier 3 contracts i'd recommend going for the tier 2 contracts as they're great you can still complete them relatively fast and you can earn two levels at a time so it makes it a bit quicker even though you earn less than tier 3 if you can do these tier 2 contracts faster you'll still be better off so it kind of really depends on if you've got anyone playing with you if you've got a good loadout how good you are that kind of thing now if you haven't checked out my recent one for three zombies top 10 loadouts video make sure you do there's some great loadouts there and there's some completely broken weapons in zombies that will make the grind so much easier if you don't like tier 3 my recommendation is to get a good loadout and keep farming easy contracts like deliver cargo and eliminate the bounty in the tier 2 zone personally what i do is i keep traveling between eliminate the bounty contracts in the tier 2 zone as with a good weapon you can instantly kill the enemy just head to another nearby bounty contract and kind of repeat the process now most contracts especially the bounty ones are in the south and southwest region in that tier 2 zone because that's normally what i like doing get a good weapon quickly go to the bounty contract eliminate the bounty go to another one and keep farming that over and over again that's my favorite strategy but if you want to make it a little bit faster you can obviously go to the tier 3 zone and do that as well and again you'll probably want a good weapon so feel free to check out my guide but that is how to earn containment levels fast in one of the three zombies that's what all the bonuses do and how to maintain your streak if you found it useful make sure to drop a like on the video check out my other recent one of the three videos like how to level up weapons fast the battle pass safe areas and zombies zombies loadouts that kind of thing feel free to subscribe if you found this useful thanks for watching and i'll see you all on the next one